In exercise 4, we are going to create and install an OS Design SDK. Well, Software Development Kit or SDK is required if you are going to develop any application for your target image. After completing this lab, you will be able to create a distributable SDK for your OS design and use Visual Studio to develop a managed code application for your design. Uh, basically, if you are targeting eBox 2, you could use any other device that you have, but uh, after you created your platform, you need to go on the platform menu and select SDK. In order to create a new SDK, you have to click on New SDK. And basically, uh, this particular screen is going to come up and is going to show you uh, the available options that you have. The wizard is basically goes through a series of questions on the product name. You can go ahead and type in Apex Platform SDK and on the manufacturer, for example, I type in Apex Infotech. And you could specify the revision and the version information for your platform. Click Next. And then here, this section is very important. Select the development languages that you want uh, your SDK to support. Depending on who is your application developer, you need to provide the support for uh, you know, application development. Uh, since I'm going to demonstrate .NET Compact Framework, I have to choose .NET Compact Framework. For embedded Visual C++ 4.0 support, uh, it's not a bad idea to select all of the options. So you give freedom and choices to uh, s application developers and software developers in order to use your image and download their application to your image. So we click Next. And that way we click Finish. Uh, we configured our SDK. Uh, by creating a new SDK. If you want to change anything, you can go to Configure SDK. That brings up a property dialog box in which you can go and modify your uh, existing options that you have already answered, part of the wizard itself. So basically, Configure SDK is the same as uh, creating a new SDK and answering some questions throughout the wizard and gives you a second choice or second chance in order to go ahead and change you know, some settings in here. If you have any license agreement, you can actually include it in here. That could be as simple as a text file that you can go and design. So, for example, on the browse, on the My Document, for example, I create a new text document in here. And uh, if I change the uh, text document, uh, or actually in this scenario, it has to be a rich text format. So, let's go ahead and uh, open up Microsoft Word. And uh, what I like to do, I like to Type in, for example, Apex Infotech and use a license agreement. And save this as, for example, Apex Infotech RTF. And we are going to save this. So that will be basically Apex Infotech RTF as our license agreement. So you could basically, you know, do uh, different things in here and show any bitmap for your splash screen and so forth. So for example, show OEM splash screen and SDK installation, you can basically show a particular, uh, you know, uh, bitmap section that you can use. Uh, in this scenario, I don't have any bitmap. If I go ahead and generate a bitmap in here by going through accessories and choosing paint, what I like to do, I like to just simply open up an existing file that I have uh, here. Like, for example, uh, this is my image that I have. I'm going to use this as a, uh, a splash screen. I'm going to save it as, for example, a bitmap. And uh, I'm going to call it Apex uh, AU End User License Agreement and save it. And uh, right now, I do have that splash screen, and duration, for example, is going to be like three seconds. Uh, the other options are available, transport options that you can choose from. Uh, I'm using basically the Kettle Transport to be the default transport for my SDK. And for example, click Apply and OK. Now, we have already configured our SDK. Now it's time to go ahead and build our SDK. By selecting uh, SDK from the platform menu and selecting Build, it goes through basically a few minutes of preparation and creates a particular directory SDK under your existing uh, platform route and it will generate the SDK for your application. So we just wait a few seconds to see this menu gets started. This uh, screen is going to tell you exactly where it's going to place it. P please pay attention to this. It's going to place it under Windows C root, under your root of your platform. It's going to generate a brand new SDK, and it's going to name it Apex Platform underscore SDK.MSI. This particular MSI can be distributed 
uh, to different developers so as long as they have this uh, SDK they can basically create applications either using embedded Visual C++ as you see in here or using .NET Compact Framework and they can design applications for your device so we just wait a few seconds to see if this particular uh, development SDK gets finished As you see, uh, basically the addition uh, of the files to the uh, cabinet file completely uh, finished, zero error, zero warning, and it automatically exports the SDK to this particular directory under MSI. So this particular file now can be executed on a developer stations that like to design Windows application for Windows CE using your platform. So all that you need to do now, select done. As you see under Windows CE platform uh, builder workspaces Apex Infotech platform there's a directory created called SDK and this is the MSI file that I was talking about you can burn this into a CD and basically give it to application designers all you need to do now you need to run this where you want to create an application for your platform so simply double click on it in this example we're going to use the same box as a platform builder and application designer pay attention to the splash screen right here uh, the image appeared and now uh, this is a welcome screen for our SDK Apex platform SDK setup uh, it goes through our license agreement as you see this is the license agreement we were talking about and I say accept click basically next this is the license agreement specific to our particular one remember that the first one was end user license agreement for platform Windows CE the second screen is ours and click next and you can specify for example your name and the organization click next and you have a choice to go completely and install all available options but for the demonstration purposes as you see we have included embedded Visual C++ and Microsoft.NET Compact Framework is going to place it under where you have installed uh, Windows CE uh, platform so we click next and we click install that goes through the installation of my SDK so I'm basically ready to go ahead and uh, uh, get started with the uh, exercise 5 which allows you to develop a managed code application for your OS design so we just wait a few minutes in order to go and uh, successfully finish this particular installation and we proceed to the uh, next exercise so as you see the SDK installation got completely finished uh, and we are basically done with this exercise